This is the paranasal sinuses lecture as part of my comprehensive cone beam CT interpretation course. Again, this is Tony Meekum. So everything you ever wanted to know about the paranasal sinuses. All right, now let's get into the ethmoid sinuses, which are also called the ethmoid air cells. So here we can see them, superior to the nasal cavity, uh, in between the orbits, and extending back all the way to the sphenoid sinus, which is this here. So if we look from a sagittal view here, you can see this is definitely an anterior ethmoid air cell. So if we want to look at where that drains, let's scroll through here. And do you see that? We're kind of emptied right here into, we know the anterior air cells empty into the hiatus semilunaris. And again, don't worry if you don't know that name. But that's definitely clear. You see that air cell draining. And another interesting thing, if you keep scrolling through, it communicates with the drainage pathway of the frontal sinus. And that's as it should be. We know they both empty into the hiatus semilunaris, which empties into the middle meatus. And so that makes this right here the uncinate process. And to confirm that, you can look, put a crosshairs on it, look in the corona plane. And yes, if you remember from the nasal cavity lecture, this is how you identify the uncinate process. And right here, lateral to the middle meatus. And what do you notice about this patient? Their maxillary sinus osteum is not clear.